The hardest thing you will ever do in cybersecurity is to land your first job. There's HR gateways, industry jargon, and companies just unwilling to hire new talent. Having certifications can be one of the ways you can break through the noise. In this video, we're going to actually take a deep dive into the EJPT V2 certification that just came out from INE. We're going to look at the content covered in the certification, talk about my experience as a beta tester, and the value you can bring to your career. But whether or not you decide to get the certification or not, you're going to want to stick around to the end of the video because INE has actually donated 10 premium annual subscriptions for me to give to you guys. So stay tuned because we're going to talk about all that and more coming up after this. So INE just released their newest cybersecurity certification, the EJPT V2. The eLearn Security Junior Penetration Tester Exam validates that the individual has knowledge and skills needed to facilitate and enroll as an entry-level penetration tester. This comprehensive exam program covers all the essential skills and concepts for a penetration testing, including assessment methodologies and enterprise auditing with hosts, networks, and web application penetration testing. Not only that, but the hands-on testing environment of the EJPT V2 will fully immerse you in the real-world skills that a successful penetration tester will use on the job. This exam is the perfect first step for those to have little to no experience in the field and proves that you have what it takes to be a part of a top-notch penetration testing team. The EJPT V2 is considered a dynamic exam. Dynamic exams include a subset of questions that change each time the exam is attempted, making each user's testing experience unique. This is not uncommon among IT certifications in the industry. This is very much a hands-on immersive exam. It simulates a variety of real-world experiences that you'll encounter on the job. Doing practice labs and exams will be a great benefit to you and the key to successfully passing this exam. The EJPT V2 is comprised of 35 questions pertaining to assessment methodologies host and network penetration testing, host and network auditing, and web application penetration testing. You'll have 48 hours, yes, hours, to complete the exam. The questions are based on observations in the testing lab environment that include dynamic and static flag injections. In order to pass the exam, you must receive an overall score at least of 70%, but also must meet predetermined minimum score requirements in each domain section. While these percentages are not published to help protect the exam's integrity, it is highly, highly recommended you take advantage of the practice opportunities in the Penetration Testing Student V2 Learning Path to hone your skills before taking the exam. Now, the question you're all asking, how much is the exam? Well, at the time of filming, the exam cost is $200. But if you sign up for the Fundamentals Annual Subscription or higher, you'll receive a free EJPT V2 and ICCA voucher, which offsets the cost of the subscription. This is a killer deal. Myself, I have the Premium Plus subscription, which also includes access to Pentester Academy, live boot camps, and access to IENE's entire library, and much more. Speaking of IENE's annual subscriptions, IENE has stepped up big this year. They have donated 10 premium one-year subscriptions for me to give away to you guys. Their premium subscription gives you access to their entire course library, GitHub and Azure projects, a thousand plus hands-on labs, live boot camps, networking workbooks, and 50% off of one eLearn Security Certification Voucher. So if you're interested in signing up for the giveaway, the link is down in the description and you'll need the keyword premium to enter. I just put out a video the other day about creating career goals for the upcoming year. And one thing I mentioned in that video is when you are creating goals for the year without a plan on how to achieve these objectives, it can be easy to lose sight of the steps needed to get there. To be effective, year-long goals should have both an action and a goal, or an actionable goal. One thing I recommended is when studying for IT certification, to set aside and schedule a time to study, even if that is as little as 30 minutes a day. And one thing I love about INE is each lesson is broken down into small, manageable bites. 
Normally you have a five to 20 minute video teaching you the skills you need, followed by a quick quiz or an opportunity to lab the skills you just learned in an easy virtual environment. And their lab environments are quick and take no setup. With just a push of a button, the lab is set up and running, ready for what you need to learn. And these are not just some lab simulators, but real world environments created in the cloud. So to circle back to the question and the reason you likely clicked on this video, is the EJPT V2 worth it? And I will say everyone's career path and goals is different. But if you are looking to become a penetration tester, this is one of the few exams out there that I can stand behind to recommend. Thing is, there's more to cybersecurity and penetration than just certifications. If you wanna land a job in the field, there's other skills that you're gonna to have to learn to even be considered for an interview, let alone land a job. Just recently, I did two different interviews with John Hammond, a cybersecurity researcher, and the CEO of Cyber, Christopher Lamplier. And we talked about everything you need to know to jumpstart your career and stand out from the crowd in the cybersecurity field. So make sure you watch these videos next. Thank you guys for tuning in, and until next time, keep learning.